glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus. So I've been telling you some people that uh, we will be doing a live seminar on marriage and relationship. Glory be to God. And we're gonna gonna see how the Lord will help us. Maybe we'll do three or more than that. We'll see how the Lord will help us do that. Hallelujah. I'm trusting God that this will be a blessing to as many as possible. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I would also like to thank God for this moment to share this as I've been waiting to share this. Uh, finally, the Spirit of the Lord has given me that permission to share. Alright, I'm reading from Revelation 21 verse 2. Revelation 21 verse 2. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. It says, And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, descending out of the heavenly realm from the presence of God, like a pleasing bride that had been prepared for her husband, adorned for her wedding. The part that I would like to be speaking on is it's where it says, like a pleasing bride that had been prepared for her husband, adorned for her wedding. Now, for those who may not know, I wrote a book on what I wish every woman knew. Now, this book, when I wrote it, um, I wrote it as a burden that, you know, there is a season. There is a season in a child of God's life where God will hide you like he did with the seven John and the Bible says he was in the wilderness until his time of appearance unto Israel there is a time of unveiling during the wedding you see a husband begin to unveil the woman so there is a season of that unveiling there is unveiling season where you are unveiled to your husband you are unveiled to your husband but then before that season there has to be a season of preparation so from where we have read it says she was like a bride that had been prepared for her husband now john here was speaking about the new jerusalem and the holy city and all that but he begins to do a comparison between that and a bride that is being prepared for her husband. He said it was like a bride. He was doing a comparison. His, his emphasis here was not about bride and, and husband, but he was doing a comparison in the way this new heaven was being unveiled and the way it was being prepared. And he said that comparison, I can compare it to a woman that has been prepared for her husband. Now, a woman must be prepared for her husband. Now, that is because many people skip that season. Many people skip that season of preparation. And then when you skip that season of preparation with God, where God actually prepares you and trains you and establishes you and all that, the secret place of God, when you skip that season, then you enter into marriage you will now begin to have two immature people in marriage two immature people in marriage hallelujah two immature people in marriage now that is because a season has been skipped a season has been a woman the Bible says this was this was like a woman that was prepared for her husband. That was prepared for her husband. There has to be that season of training. There has to be that season whereby God brings a person unto maturity. So that when a person gets to that season of the unveiling, what you are unveiling is not maturity, immaturity. 
you are unveiling maturity because what whatsoever you are during the moment of the unveiling it is what is being unveiled if you are still immature still still childish still 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 mentally not strong when your husband unveils you he's unveiling all those shame he's unveiling all those weaknesses he's unveiling all those immaturity he's unveiling all the ignorance he's unveiling everything hallelujah there is nothing that if you did not challenge yourself to grow challenge yourself to begin to mature in God, challenge yourself to allow God to prepare you and to train you. If you never allow that, there is no miracle that is going to happen in during the unveiling moment when your husband unveils you. There is no miracle that will take place that you will suddenly begin to mature in a moment. It's not nothing like that is going to happen. You have to go through that season of preparation, that season of training, that season of where you come to maturity, where you have been trained by the word of God, where you allow God build you in the secret, where you stay in the wilderness. The wilderness in this context for us, we mean here being single until your time of your appearance to your husband. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Then that season, it is a season of preparation. You are being prepared for Israel, for your husband, you are being prepared. You are being prepared. You are being prepared. You are being prepared. So many people appear before they are prepared, before their husband. They appear before they are prepared. And one of the things that happen before you are prepared, when you appear before you are prepared, one of the things that happen is that even in your choice of destiny partner will be most likely to be wrong most likely to be a wrong partner glory be to the name of the lord it will be most likely to be a wrong partner because now the trainings the maturity that you will need to be able to know your destiny and your destiny helper now you can't know your destiny helper if you don't understand your destiny in god you can't understand your destiny helper. You can't understand who your destiny helper should be if you don't know how your destiny in Christ is. So there must be first be that discovery of destiny before a discovery of knowing the destiny helper. Hallelujah. You can't point out a destiny helper when you don't know your destiny, when you don't know the destiny prepared for you by God. You have to go through that season where you are being prepared. You have been, the Lord trains you, the Lord equips you, the Lord reveals to you, the Lord empowers you, the Lord equips you. It is during that season whereby you begin to understand your destiny in Christ. When you understand your destiny in Christ, now you begin to know the kind of destiny helper which will be relevant to you which will be equivalent which will be helpful to you which will be suitable the bible says a suitable helper a suitable helper which will be a suitable helper for you it's not every helper which is suitable it's not every that word suitable helper it means it's not every helper which is can be suitable there is a suitable helper made for him a suitable helper made for him glory be to the name of the lord and for one to come to that place where one can be able to know a suitable helpmate then they must first be able to know their destiny which that is done in the secret place in the wilderness in 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 the, in the in a place with God, where God trains men and God begins to cook people, and He makes them. Glory be to the name of the Lord. But then the danger here, 
as I've mentioned, that the first one is that if you cannot go through that season of preparation, number one, you cannot know your destiny. And because you cannot know your destiny, you are most likely going to make a wrong uh, partner, choice of partner. You're going to likely, and that will affect your destiny in Christ. When you make a wrong destiny partner, it will affect your destiny in Christ. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Now, not only that, but when people go into marriage and having not gone through that season where they come to maturity through the teachings of Christ and through the help of the Holy Spirit and they're being prepared for that unveiling, when they skip that season, you will begin to have two immature people inside marriage. When you have two immature people inside marriage, then that marriage will begin to drain you. That marriage will begin to destroy you. That marriage will begin to discourage you. That marriage will begin to be a weapon of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. That immaturity becomes a doorway of the enemy in order to access your destiny. And through that he can destroy many things concerning your life. Glory be to the name of the Lord. A man of God was uh, sharing his story. That um, Reverend Uma Ukapai, he was sharing his story, the servant of the Lord, uh, in one interview. And he mentioned that he was married with his wife for 33 years yet they only quarreled twice in a marriage twice in 33 years only quarreled twice i hope you know that there are some marriages where quarrel is every day every day there is no peace and one of the reason is one of these factors that we are mentioning that you find out that there are two immature people inside marriage because they skipped that season of being trained by God so instead of a marriage to be a blessing to them it becomes a pain because there is no maturity all right that unveiling of the husband he unveils who you are there is no miracles that will happen on on, on the day of marriage there is no miracle that will happen if you skipped that season it will show in the marriage. When you call yourself the head of the house, but you skipped that season, it will show. You will be the head that will destroy the body. You will be the head that will destroy the body. Not necessarily because you don't love your partner. No. But the maturity to be able to express that love is not available. The maturity to be able to show that love is not available. Listen, every abusive husband, if you ask them why you are abusing your wife, they will tell you, it's because I love her. It's because I love her. So they don't have the maturity to be able to express love. Because first of all, they don't have it. So it is in that secret place where God builds men, where God establish men, where God bring men to maturity then when it comes to that season of the unveiling you are the husband is now unveiling a woman of value the husband is unveiling a virtuous woman the husband is unveiling glory because there's been that season of preparation so this is the first part that i would like to share that she must be prepared she must be prepared before the unveiling so that when she is unveiled she becomes a blessing to her helpmate glory be to the name of the lord jesus so we believe this is a blessing to you 
this is also in the, uh, the book what I also what I wish every woman knew some of these things we mentioned them so I will also leave the link in case anyone is interested but if you are within uh, South Africa you can actually text the we will put the the, the whatsapp context whatsapp uh, contact in the description box uh, which you can be able to contact and a copy of a book will be delivered to you all right we believe this teaching is a blessing to you and uh, by the help of the holy spirit we will share maybe few more on this series of uh, marriage and relationships so god bless you amen